So you're preparing for mediation, you don't know where to start, you're a little nervous, and you just wanna make sure that you don't screw it up. This video will help with that. But before I get there, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along, where you will make sure that your future injury case is protected and you do not put yourself behind the eight ball. So, how to be prepared for mediation. Mediation is a very stressful thing that plaintiffs can sometimes go through. Let me explain what a mediation is and then I'll get to how to be prepared for it, okay? First, a mediation is a pre-trial opportunity to settle your case, where basically all parties come together, the judge is not involved, you hire somebody that's mutually agreed upon between the plaintiff's lawyers and the defense lawyers to sit in between and sort of mediate the problems that you guys are dealing with and the, why you guys haven't settled that case yet. So for example, Let's say that you tripped and fell in a, uh, let's say that you tripped and fell inside of a Walmart and Walmart is claiming it was an open and obvious danger and you are claiming this should have never happened. Why did, why was there a plank in the middle of the street? I don't know, I'm just making, making this up. Why was there a plank in the middle of the hallway of, of, of Walmart? You tripped, you fell, you break your arm. All right, so defense counsel says it was open and obvious, you should have seen it. This is not a deposition where your testimony is under oath. Really, this is just an opportunity for everybody to come together to hopefully get these cases resolved. So let's say that your demand was 100,000 and let's say that the offer was 20,000 and you entered into the mediation $80,000 apart. You would hope that you leave that mediation at somewhere that might feel a little bit like a lose-lose for everybody. The reason why I say that is it never feels like a home run unless you get the number that you're asking for, but realistically, you never get the number you're asking for because you ask for it for the purpose of getting closer to it, not for the purpose of actually getting that number. So you go to mediation and the goal is to get you as close to that number as possible. You start the conversation. They say, hey, that plank was open and obvious. What do you think of that? You don't actually have to, to say anything. You don't even have to necessarily be there as the plaintiff. Your lawyer can say, well, you know, we'll let the jury decide that issue, but you guys are at 20,000. Why can't you move up a little bit? And then we'll start to move off of our 100,000. Hopefully you creep towards maybe 55,000, somewhere in between there. If you come back and let's say that your lawyer says, all right, I've got them at 50,000. I think it's a good number. I'm going to recommend it to you. You then can go back in that room and say, all right, we'll settle the case for 50. Case is over. So the ways that you can prepare is don't say anything more than you're asked. Don't say anything more than you're asked. Now, that is the number one thing that plaintiffs do to kind of screw up their case. They say something when they weren't necessarily asked about that thing. So don't say anything more than you're asked. That's number one. Number two, the way to prepare for it has nothing to do with you. It's really more your lawyer that needs to be prepared for it, but ask questions of your lawyer that you're curious about before you get there so you're not surprised by anything, okay? So make sure you spend maybe half hour, hour on the phone with your lawyer before this happens, and if they don't call you, you should call them if you know mediation's coming up. So don't say anything when you're not asked. Make sure that you ask questions beforehand, and if you're feeling uncomfortable, you can always ask to take a break, okay? This is not something under oath. It is something with the hope of a settlement and it happens before trial. The best way to be prepared is just be yourself. Don't ask anything unless you're asked. And even if you're asked, you can ask your lawyer beforehand, hey, if I'm asked this, should I answer it? All right, the goal is to get your case resolved. That's what a mediation is for. If you can't get your case resolved in mediation, guess what, you got trial coming. It's not the end of the world. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If I didn't hit on something with this, make sure to reach out and ask me a specific question or comment it below, and I'll make sure to get, get you some more specific answers on anything that I may have missed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along where I will make sure that your future injury case is protected. Thank you.